Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going over the AIG AI Manager software. More specifically, we're going to talk about how you can download all of these liveries, well, pretty much all of the liveries, in about five minutes. So gone are the days of us having to go to the online section and choosing each individual livery to download and then waiting the one or two days for everything to finish. Later in the video, we'll also go over how you can set up your model matching for VATSIM. This is probably the easiest process that I have seen by far. So if you would like to know how to set this up on your PC, stay tuned for today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back everyone. So before we get started in today's video, I first thought we would go over what we are and are not gonna be covering. We are not gonna go over the download and installation process of the AI Manager software. We've already done this in a previous video. I'll post a link down below in the description. I highly recommend you check that out first if you are completely new to the AIG Manager software. What we will be going over on the other hand is how to download all of the liveries that are available inside of the AI Manager application without using the AI Manager application. This is gonna allow us to download everything within about five minutes. Once that's complete, we will then go through the installation process of the liveries. After that, we'll go through the process of setting up your model matching for VATSIM, as well as entering the VMR file inside of the vPilot application. Once all that's complete, we will then open Microsoft Flight Simulator and then go through the settings that we need to make sure are set correctly in there so that you're able to see all of the liveries that we have just installed. So let's get started. If the video helps you out today, be sure to go down below, hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash on that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. And if you have any questions while we're going through the process, please post those down below in the comments section. So if you have the AI Manager application open, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that we close out of the application before we proceed any further. Once you have closed out of the application, down below in the description, there's gonna be a link for this GitHub page that you see on your screen before you. Here's where we're gonna be able to download all of the liveries for the AIG application, as well as the files that are gonna be needed to set up the model matching for VATSIM. The process for the download is gonna be a little different than what we're used to, so to do this, we're just gonna come down below to the install and we're just gonna tap on the Google Drive. When you do, that's gonna open up a new page and then we're just gonna go ahead and click the download button. The download itself should only take about five minutes or so and it should populate down below in your web browser. Once the download is complete, then we need to extract and install all the liveries into our AIG traffic OCI beta folder. If you are someone that has the AIG OCI beta folder, directly in your community folder, then you're gonna to wanna to open your community folder for the next step. If you are using add-on linker for the AIG traffic OCI beta folder, then you're gonna open that folder that you're using that contains the AIG AI traffic OCI beta folder. Boy, was that a mouthful. We can then open the zip file we had just downloaded from the GitHub page. Once you have this open, we are then going to drag and drop this file directly into the folder that contains the AIG traffic OCI beta folder. This step here is very critical that it gets done correctly. You wanna make sure that you drag the new AIG beta folder to the location of your existing AIG beta folder. If you drag this and drop it over top of your existing AIG beta folder, you will not overwrite the files, but what you will do is install your new folder inside of your existing folder. That's not what we wanna do. So make sure that you drag this and drop it to the location of where your current folder is located. So again, if you have the AIG traffic folder in your community folder, you will then open your community folder and drag this file from your zip folder into here and extract it directly into your community folder. And once that is complete, and this process is going to take a little while. For me, it probably took about 45 minutes to an hour to extract and install 
all of those liveries inside of the AIG Traffic OCI Beta folder. One thing that it will come up on your screen, it's gonna ask you, do you wanna overwrite the files that are there? The answer is yes, so you're gonna check yes on overwriting the files. Once you do that, it's probably gonna look like your computer freezes on you and just sits there. Just let it go until it finishes. Once that finishes, we can now move on to the next step of the process. We no longer need the zip file open, so we can go ahead and close that out. And we no longer need the GitHub page open either, so we can close that as well. So once you're finished with that, if you are not a VATSIM user, then you pretty much are done with adding all of the liveries to your AIG Traffic OCI Beta folder. Once that is finished, make sure that you open the AI Manager application and then go down to your Settings tab, go over to AIG AIM OCI, and then you're gonna run the Verify Texture Format as well as the Verify Setup so that if there are any changes to any of the liveries, it can go ahead and make those changes. Once that's complete, you're gonna go up, hit the Save, and you are all set to go. Now that you have finished that, if you are not a VATSIM user, you are pretty much good to go to start Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you do not have the settings set correctly yet inside of Microsoft Flight Simulator, then skip to this part of the video. If you are a VATSIM user, stick around because next we're gonna go over how to set up your model matching. For everybody else, I wanna thank you for joining us on the channel today. If you have any questions, post them down below in the comments. And as always, hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash on that thumbs up button. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Okay, for everybody sticking around for the model matching for VATSIM, let's get into that right now. So first thing you gotta do is open up your vPilot application, and then we're gonna go to the settings tab. Once we're in the settings tab, we're gonna go down to model matching for Microsoft Flight Sim, hit on the little plus icon there, and then select custom rules. We're then gonna go up and click add custom rule set. Here's where we're gonna need to select the VMR file that is in the AIG AI Traffic OCI Beta folder. If this folder is in your community folder, then you're gonna to wanna to locate to the community folder through here. So for me, I have the AIG folder on my desktop, so I'm just gonna click my desktop, go down to the AIG folder, click the AIG Traffic OCI Beta folder, and then I'm gonna go down highlight the British AvGeeks AIG Microsoft Flight Sim VMR file. Once that's done, we can hit the open, hit apply, hit OK, and now we can just exit and start up vPilot. So now that we have gone through how to set up all the model matching, let's go ahead and start Microsoft Flight Simulator so we can go through all of the settings inside of there. Okay, so now we're in Microsoft Flight Simulator. What we need to do is go up to the Options tab, and then we're gonna go down to the General Options. Then we're gonna go over here to the Traffic and click on that. First, we're gonna go over the settings that we need to adjust if you are not gonna be using VATSIM. For those people, you can use the real-time online traffic. If you are gonna be using the AI traffic controller, then you wanna make sure that you turn this off. If you are not gonna be using the AI traffic controller, but you want to see all of the liveries inside of Microsoft Flight Sim, and you wanna either use AI traffic or the real-time online, you can do that as well and all of those liveries will show up for you. But before that can happen, we just need to make one more change down here at the bottom. You can also set your ground aircraft density to whatever you would like as well. Next, you need to come all the way down here to the bottom and make sure that you set the use generic plane models AI traffic to off and the multiplayer generic plane models to off. This way, it's always gonna be pulling from the information that is in the OCI beta folder. Lastly, the selection at the very bottom, you need to make sure that this is also set in the ultra position. Once you've got all that done, hit apply and save, and you are all set to go. You are free to enjoy all the new liveries that you have just installed. So thank you guys for joining us on the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. For all the VATSIM users, let's go over what your settings need to be now. At the very top, we're gonna to make sure that we have the aircraft traffic type set to off. Next, we're gonna come down to ground aircraft density, and you're gonna make sure that is to zero. This way you won't have any AI aircraft spawning into any of the gates and overlapping any other multiplayers. Next, you wanna make sure that you come down below and also 
set these to off and make sure your traffic variety is set to ultra. Once you've got that done, hit apply and save and you guys are all set to go now. Thanks everybody for joining us on the channel. If you have any questions, post them down below in the comments and I will get right back to you. If you haven't done so, make sure to hit the subscribe, tick the little bell and smash that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching everybody.